uh, went shopping today. Got a lot of toys at uh, Toys R Us and Target. And uh, what we're doing here today is taking uh, several hundred toys that we purchased around uh, the Chicago area at places like Target, Toys R Us. We even went to dollar stores and uh, Claire's boutique to uh, purchase uh, small toy jewelry. And we want to be able to see if there are toys out on store shelves that contain uh, chemicals that may be dangerous to children. This is a mini stacking train that we got at uh, Target today and we're going to shoot this XRF gun at uh, the red wheel here to see if uh, based on the, uh, the x-rays that bounce back whether it has lead or any other um, dangerous uh, metals. Well, one of the things to note, we're just testing for a very few number of chemicals like lead and bromine, but there are 80,000 different toxic chemicals that are out there in the marketplace right now. We know very little about many of those uh, chemicals. All right, so we are testing a Hello Kitty here that uh, we purchased at uh, Target earlier today. And it's definitely coming back with, uh, with bromine. It's got, um, it's got 20 parts per million of bromine. Right now, um, there, there's no real safe standard that's been set on uh, how much bromine should be in a product. Um, but we do know that it's a chemical that uh, damages the nervous system. It's been linked to thyroid disease, to uh, liver damage, and, and clearly it's a chemical that you wouldn't want to see uh, contained in a children's toy. Bromine is a chemical that is of concern uh, to the development of the nervous system, to the thyroid, to liver damage. And uh, because this pillow is going to be used with an infant um, at a time when their nervous system and their endocrine systems are still developing, it, it is uh, very concerning that uh, a chemical like bromine uh, would be in this product. And in fact, we have found bromine in this product. So we found a number of these uh, little charms uh, uh, that go on to a kid's cell phone, and we're going to take a look at this. And it comes out at more than 2,000 parts per billion um, uh, lead content. A lot of metal novelty jewelry has in the past tested positive for the presence of lead. We need to be able to make sure that we get chemicals that we know are dangerous, like bromine, and, and this, this actual phone right here actually has 23 parts per million of bromine in it. Uh, we know that that is uh, damaging to children's nervous systems. Um, it, it is particularly damaging to children because their nervous systems are still developing. But as I mentioned, there are lots of other types of toxic chemicals out there that we know very little about. We don't know what their health effects are, whether they're uh, dangerous, uh, whether they're safe, and we need to change chemical policy so that we don't end up with chemicals uh, in the marketplace um, that we know nothing about. We need to make sure that they're safe before they end up in the marketplace.